All right, we're with another one of the guys who's on the uh, Tough Ten finale, Daryl Schoonover. How you doing? Pretty good. Thanks for having me. Yeah. A uh, little better environment now, uh, being outside of the house and uh, all the r ridiculous abuse, not only to you, but, I mean, uh, Jensen took a beating, too. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm actually, I'm pretty happy for what all happened, you know, in the house. It was, it was getting pretty tiring, but now, being out of it, I'm pretty happy, you know. So, looking back on, for the best. Yeah, looking back on it, did you handle it the right way, or was there a moment where maybe you should have stepped up? Because you did with Quentin after a while. I don't know how far into the season that actually was of the taping, but... Should you have been more aggressive, or did you handle it perfectly? I, I think I handled it the right way. I think if I would have, you know, ended up hitting him or something, I probably would have been kicked out the show. But at the same time, I think I should have hit him. But I think I think it all worked out. I think I handled it the right way. I should have, the way I should have. Right. How many people walk up to you, or have the uh, the balls to walk up to you and go, "Hey, titties"? I've had one person yeah. come up to me, and I scared the I scared the piss out of him. What'd you <laughs> do? <laughs> he didn't do it no more. He was about your size, and yeah. he was sitting down. He was pretty drunk. I walked up, grabbed his hand, pulled him towards me, and said, you know, don't have him call me that anymore. Yeah. Oops, sorry, I'm sorry. And that was it. All right. You know, I just, it. I did it just for interview <laughs> purposes, though. Yeah. You know, you know what? I, I don't know. I find, actually, the bad body thing always cracks me up, especially in the heavyweight division, because it, it really shouldn't matter. I'm not exactly sure why those guys were so stuck on that, because I got to be honest with you, you're, you're not the only guy who was a little uh, soft in the boobs on the show, so I don't know why they picked yeah. you. Um, I don't know. Um, I'll tell you this much, you know, me and Roy were probably like the biggest guys on the show, and I think we had the best cardio while we were there. Like, you mm -hmm. could tell from our fights, we didn't, you know. So, I don't know. It's a whole impression thing, I guess. Well, I think it's the whole heavyweight mindset in general. It's the whole big guy mindset in general. Right now, there's a guy, uh, you know, in the room, Kimbo Slice, who looks like a complete badass. He might be. He might not be. We don't know yet. We're going to find out. Yeah, should be a good fight between him and, uh, what's his name? I can't remember. Houston, Houston, Houston yeah. Are you rooting for Kimbo? I mean, did, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I haven't heard a lot of people badmouth Kimbo. We've, we've talked about all the drama, and he really wasn't involved in most of it. No, I, I train with Kimbo. I like the guy. So, you know, he's my teammate. I'm going to have to root for him. Yeah. When, uh, when Quentin gets back in, are you going to be rooting for him against Rashad, or have you let it go? Actually, no. No, I, 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 like, I like Rashad a lot, you know. Even though uh, he's training with James, I'm getting ready to fight James. You know, we're on separate sides or whatever. I still like Rashad, and I want him to beat the shit out of Rampage whenever he gets the opportunity. All right. How do you think it came off during the show, the uh, the back and forth with him? Mm, I think I think Rashad came out really well. You know, he came out like a good coach. He 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 seemed more out there for the fighters than uh, Rampage did. So overall, I think Rashad came out looking pretty good. And actually, I mean the the trash talk between them. Oh, the trash talking. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's just regular trash talk, and they just hate each other. You yeah. know. So. Are you surprised they never? I mean, how many times were you around it? Because it's and it might be just TV and reality TV. There were a lot of times I'm like, wow, I cannot believe one of them is not throwing a punch on each other. I think there's a few times. The last yes, yesterday's uh, the finale, the last episode or whatever. Uh, I think that's that's when uh, they're ready. Yeah. <laughs> you, you could tell because it was like none of the team was there. It was just Rampage and Rashad, Tiki and Van Arsdale, and I, they looked like they were ready to go. Yeah. I thought I thought I was gonna see it, but no. Oh, and yet it sucks for fight fans because and Rampage can do whatever he wants. He's got money making you know his movie, but it's a little you know anticlimax here when yeah. we don't know when we're going to see the fight. I think we'll see it eventually. Yeah, I, I for sure thought uh, he was going to fight uh, Rashad, but you know he's making more money making movies or whatever's going on. So power to him. All right, now people don't remember because we saw McSweeney at the end, kind of uh, you know bullying Jensen and busting chops with others. But early in the season, what, what was the the bird thing and that whole deal? Because you know. It kind of proves with him it wasn't an isolated incident of him trying to, you know, go after who he perceived as weak and could bully. No, nah, basically, James is just a bully. He's going he's gonna to pick on whoever he sees, you know. He, he tried it with me, it didn't happen. And then he went, he moved on to Jensen and those guys, you know. He, just basically anybody who he thinks is going to take it, he'll, he'll sit there and bully. He likes to be the, you know, the schoolyard bully. But I'm going to put an end to that when I fight him. So what do you think of his game? Uh, I thought he looked decent in terms of movement. He's, you know, was a slick fighter against Nelson, but uh, Roy also walked through a, a lot of big shots. So, yeah, he uh, he has great foot movement. He moves around a lot. You know, he's he's always looking to set up a kick. He doesn't really throw many punches, or if he does throw punches, they're usually just to set up a big kick. But other than that, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do my game plan, go walk through. Him. So can you kind of, kind of like Roy, but not really. <laughs> A little different style, right? Yeah. Can you completely focus on the fight with what's going on, you know, after uh, this fight card is done and the fact that you're going to be going abroad again? Um, yeah. I, I basically, I put aside, I, I forgot about uh, Afghanistan and everything. I know I have to go, but uh, at the same time, I have the perfect mindset. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to kick the shit out of James. And then after that, I'm going to go to Afghanistan. I'm going to do my, my work over there. You're a little surprised you have to go back. I know uh, I heard one interview, and you were like, eh, I kind of thought I had finished it out, had 
serve my duty, serve my time, and now I got to go back. Well, yeah, well, you know, I, I, I was in there for four years. Uh, I got out with an honorable discharge. I did my time. I've, I've been out for almost two years now. So when they called me back, it, it was kind of kind of pissed me off. But then, you know, by the very next day, I, I just said, to hell with it. I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna push out and and go and lie and say I have injuries. There's a lot of guys that I know that are getting out like that, but I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. And I know you you pointed out in the interview. The, I think the first interview you did, uh, there is a difference between honorable discharge. When I when I heard that, I was like, whoa, that's something you don't say to a military guy. You gotta be careful yeah, well, on that. Yeah. One. The, the, uh, one of the guys was like, uh, he's like, he's like, yeah, well, you got with a out with a dishonorable. I was like, no, no, <laughs> never got out with a dishonorable. I served my time. You know, served my country proudly, and that's it. So. All right. Well, good good luck on Saturday night, and you know, congrats making it here, and then also uh, again serving your country and you know doing it without complaints. Okay, thank you guys.